Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mars. In today's episode, we're going to be a little bit of a birthday bash, actually. Um, as you saw my live stream, it's a bit old chair down a touch. As you saw my last live stream, um, I had a birthday bash and a charity do, which was fantastic. And we have raised just over um, about £600. Some of it, I wait for small money to come in and what have you, but it looks like it's going to be just over six, which is absolutely brilliant. So hats off to you guys and girls. Thank you very much for all the donations towards the Smith McGinnis Syndrome UK, fam um, UK Foundation. So brilliant. Um, but today actually is Monday, the 22nd of June, and today is actually my birthday. Uh, 42 years old today, I've had my cake and what have you. I've got a little can of uh, Looney Juice just here, so I'll have a can of that. Um, so, just thought I'd show you what I've got for my birthday. Um, super, super chuffed. I've got myself um, off of um, Nana Pauline, Nana, Nana P. She um, gave me um, a nice little set of my Amazon wish list, which is. Um, I don't know bits it is, it's probably say on here, probably 35,000 or something, I don't know how much it says, a 246 uh, drill bit set. So it's got wood drill bits, metal drill bits, punches, you name it, it's in there. So super happy with that, uh, because literally I have gone through most of my drill bits, and like anyone in a workshop, you know, you do lose bits and pieces over time and um, all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, got a brilliant set from Nana, um, a, um, a nice uh, toolkit set. Got from my own mum some nice clothes, um, jogging bottoms, t-shirts, what have you, that's cool. Um, Auntie Shell, um, which is Riley's, Riley's auntie, um, she gave me this, um, which is a nice 10 litre um, fuel can. I've kind of got a 5 litre one down here somewhere. Um, it's not enough really for what I need. I don't want two cans, so this is on my list as well. Uh, it's got a, uh, an anti, you know, um, let, let, let's air in so you can funnel fuel out quite quickly. That uh, goes on there. Uh, nice 10 litre can, which is quite nice. Um, so that's cool, I'm happy with that. Uh, so I do go through, fuel, go through fuel quite a bit, as you can imagine. Um, so that's cool, I'm happy with that. And then Mrs. P, she sent me one of these things. Now Martin Butler did a video on this lots long ago, actually. I just have a day for Father's Day, I got it for my birthday. Uh, a Dewalt um, uh, drill holder I got here, just, uh, just taking it out of the packaging. And then the main present, which I was absolutely ecstatic about, uh, D Walt, not affiliated. Um, Mrs. P, give me this one, which is great. I've already got the impact drills, you know, so I a door. But this is the 18 volt um, drill. Comes with two batteries and a charger. I think this is brushed this one. Uh, 18 volt, yeah. This is the um, RX Lithium one um, with 1.3 ohm batteries. Super happy with that, that's what I wanted. Because uh, my drill, I've got an old Bosch drill somewhere, and it's just, uh, I've had it years, years and years and years. So happy with that. Only downside to it, it did come with a, uh, an American plug uh, socket on it. So I've got to get a, a you know, a, a doodad for a charger. However, I do have a UK charger here anyway, so I'm not over concerned. I'll get an adapter for it, no biggie. So that's cool. So other bits and pieces as well, which is great. I had a nice bit of cake, super happy. So I thought what we do today is um, we'll um, get this... Um, Dewalt storage holder up. I'll put a bit of plywood up over the shed so I don't know exactly where it's going to go. Um, and then hopefully in the coming videos, you're going to see the electrics coming in. Um, I've, got, I've got enough money in the old bank from the mower sales from doing um, mowers to get the cable fitted. So at some point, I'm going to get this rotavator up and running, or rototiller. About to dig a hole for where I need it to go down the side of the garden, and then I can put it around the back where no one goes. It's, it's going to be thick armor cables, it's not a problem. And then into the shed and then wired up. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five six six sockets on a ring main, one separate socket for a compressor and welder, and then the lights will be wired up and I'll get some external lights as well wired up as well. So plenty of sockets in here to do what I want to do. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's get this Dewalt holder up and running. Right, so let's load all the bits out. The only bit I have done on this bit here is uh, these were inside. Just got to bend these down. They're for like drill bits and what have you to fit in there. So that's all I have done to that. Um, all you've got to do, by the looks of it, now I'm also the instructions. Do you know what? They ain't all that. I'm not, I'm not impressed with it. You can sort of get the gist of it. Slot the lower panel, as shown. Please note the lower panel has four holes in it. Well, okay. But that's actually showing it at the top of the panel, not, not, not the bottom. Which is weird. So um, yeah, it's not it's not probably as um, as best you can, you can uh, figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the bottom the other way up. Is what I'm going to do. 
This is the bottom of the panel. That's the top of the panel with a slant on it, okay? And I'm gonna put this bit in first. So I'm going, against, I'm going against the grain. I ain't going to do what they say. I'm going to do my own thing. Because that'll be the lower panel. Because that's where um, where your drills hang on to, yeah? I right, then get the next one, which is what they say is the lower one with the four holes in. It's got four holes in it there, yeah? We're then going to fit that in there. All right. That goes in there. And let's get the next one up. Make sure that these um these lips are down, all right? Not not like that, facing up, right? Make sure they're down. That goes in, like so. Bit of a tight fit because the other two panels are holding it tight. So stick it in. That goes in, and then that goes in, right? Then you get the other bits you get with this are these three little tiny strips which you have to snap off. They all come together, linked onto this. Snap them off. I get a little file later on and file them off. And they clip underneath and then they hook up. Now they're gonna have to hook up and go inside this panel. Alright? So just lay them into place. Like so. Yeah. Then get a little tiny screw. It comes with a packet of screws. Little self-tapping screws. And then what you want to do, the reason they're going on the inside on the inside is because when you um, screw it in, that screw all the way through that hole. See, so you've got to put it through that hole and then it goes through the little tiny black bit at the back. That's the reason why. And as you screw that up, that will then bring up the back bit. So I'm not really one for following instructions, not really. So I've always done my own little, my own little thing. But as I say, uh, I know Martin Butler did this the other week. I think he, put it, he didn't put it back didn't put it together wrong, oh, that's tight. He didn't put it in wrong. Um, I believe the instructions ain't all that. Quite, oh, don't wanna go in there. Let's go in there, it's just cutting the threads. That's it. They're quite a tight old thread, that. So I ain't gonna knock him. I don't think the instructions are all right. I looked at the old instructions, I thought, hey, that making much sense. One more bit, I've got a screw here. Good design, but just not as, uh, the instructions sometimes they hinder you, don't they? Especially when you get flat pack furniture, they hinder you a bit. Right, that goes in there. Now, what we're going to do is pick the whole lot up, spin it round like so, and then you've got another six screws to go on. Bring that up, and that can go into there like so. Watch me drop this screw. The threads are tight, I will say that. Do that one. So you've got six pieces. So let me get these six wound up. The self-explanatory where we go. You can't really uh can't really muck that up. Let's get your holes lined up. They are tight, I tell you. Once it once it bites, it's own threading. Cool, I don't want to go in there. I have to change my screwdriver a bit. I'll get another screwdriver. Let's pick another Phillips up. Uh, slightly bigger Phillips. Let's go for that one there. Might be a bit better. Got a bit of handle to it as well. If not, I've got my own soft tappers I can use. Let's go in there. Just cutting a thread. So let me screw this one up and then these three over here um, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, there you go. I did drop two screws, found one that had some soft tapping screws just here. Can't find the other one, so you don't get no spare. And looking at it, they don't give you no screws, well I can see, um, to actually screw it into, into the wall, which is um, kind of cool. So you've got one, two, three, four screw holes around the back to wind these to it. I might have got I've got some deck screws, or if not in here, one of these drawers, I've got some rather nice black screws. Here they are. They should do the job. They should be long enough. If the heads are big enough. Let's have a look. The heads should be big enough. Yeah, they're plenty big enough. Yeah, they do for what I need. Um, it's got to carry a little bit of weight, but um, not too much just to cut the drills and what have you. So we'll put it over into, into its position. And looking at Martin's um, video, you have to have quite a long extension bar to put these in. So let me get an extension bar out and then um, we'll screw this to the wall. 
Right, I'll put a bit of ply board in. Um, I'm gonna have um, a plug socket underneath here um, at some point. So let me just grab me uh, my new tray, my new holder. And that's gonna go just about there. Perfect. Just the right height for what I need. So I'll uh, mark them up before I put them into place. Um, and I've managed to rig up a, a long extension bar like, like Martin said. Um, so you, need, you do need quite a big one. So let me just find the impact and some screws. I might get away with not marking that up, we'll see. Sort of screw heads, well, they're quite small screw heads. Yeah, that should go quite well. So what we're gonna do is, it's a shame we don't give you the grooved slots on these because um, you could then um, put marker screws up and then hang it in place. That'd be quite a good design. So an extra, extra long extension bar with a screw, put the screw in into the hole at the back, plonk. I'm gonna offer it up to where it needs to be. It's gonna be around about there. I'm quite happy with that. one in, drop it down, that's it, and then we get the next one started I think, might be easier, let's start it off with a small screwdriver, because that extension bar has got quite a lot of slack in it, I'll get a uh, spirit level, Tiddly one, stick that on there. Oh, about straight. Hold it at the bottom. Let's have a look here. About there. Let's just start that off. Once it's in. We can then convert back to the old, the old homemade doodad. Yeah, straight. Yep, yeah, straight, lovely. And now the harder ones are the ones beneath. Let's go underneath. All the way in, all the way down in there, all the way into there. Let's try and hold this extension bar as tight as I can. That's it. And then the last one goes into there. All the way home. Done. As straight as you like. Lovely. So that's that now done. And in place. I'm going to take my D wall off. Bang. That angle into place. Let me grab the other bits and pieces. And don't forget, we're going to be having a, a plug socket down here as well, which I should probably either fit up here in this space or down below. So the workshop is forever evolving um, to take in new tools and one, one downside to the shed I have bought, or several downsides, so there's plenty of this old shack, is wall space. So in the future I will be looking to upgrade to a summer house, give me more wall space, to, all the wall space I've lost due to my racking. But there's a drill, that 
goes in there. And I've got one more drill, which should be in the cupboard, which is my old Bosch one, which has served me so well, I've had it for absolute donkey's years. That fit in there as well. So it's like different types. Um, I'll get rid of that old box stuff later on. It's just some spares and bits and pieces I add in. Um, and uh, the only other downside, as I say, it come with a, a little tiny US plug um, thing, which I should change. I have got another another charger for it. Let's just take that off. Over there. Yeah, but well impressed with the old present. And what you can do is, you can loosely unscrew this, this top side again. I don't know, and run the cable down through. And it, it can plug in down here. Now I've got a spare charger for this as well. I've got my Bosch charger. Put my Bosch one over here. Just sneak it behind the old panel. There you go, yeah, like so. And I've got one more charger for me, D Walk. Which is hither. That comes with a UK plug. That's a shame, it don't quite fit there, never mind. We can work around it later on. Stick that behind as well. So I've got all my me, all me sockets now. I can plug it into down here. I'm gonna get the double, two double sockets down here. So everything's now out the way, which is cool. And it comes with a spare, spare battery, which is good. And I've got another battery here for me old uh, D Walt as well, so I've got two or three of them. Plus, these all got their own batteries as well, so that's cool. So I've now charged two D Walts at a time. I'll keep my old Bosch one because it has got me through. Um, but now I've got me me up uh, my D Walt one. Super happy with that. Well happy. So yeah, well happy with that. Um, shame it doesn't fit up level as you have one, but that's that's just for design of it. That's just the way it goes. But now I've got my own D Walt. Um, always been out of the way now my drills and my chargers are all in one place so super happy with that so one of the next projects is going to be on is actually i'm going to extend my um my workbench um just ever so slightly um i want to bring it out to about here um and i want two shelves i want the a normal workbench and a shelf underneath because my halfords um professional kit is just not getting used because it's too heavy and uh, nowhere to put it um, when I'm working. But as I'm working down this end of the shed now, I'm gonna build it so that it go up on the worktop here, but when I'm not using it, I can fold it away and slip it down inside here. So it'd be a double-edged in there. So I've got two lots of units. So when I'm working down this end of it, I can use my Halfords kit as well. It is a proper old kit. But at the moment, just not using it. Okay, so super happy. I've got my own little, um, Dewalt racking system now all up and running. I don't think it's actually a Dewalt product. Uh, it says it's a, a Mega Max. So I don't think it's actually Dewalt, but it's, you know, it, it's, that's what they're trying to do, yeah. Um, so that's cool. I'm gonna do a bit of filing just with the old um, files, just get any sharp, rough edges off. But super happy that now all my drill bits, or all my drills, chargers, and uh, what have the batteries all in one location. I know exactly where they are and gonna muck about. I want to do my future uh, worktop project for my Halfords kit, that's something else up off the floor and I can use it and say, as I say, when I'm not using it, close it down, tuck it away, no one can see it because they're not a cheap bit of kit there, they're about nearly 300 quid um, for that kit and I want to use it, so rather than just using my little tiny cheap little um, Halfords set I picked up many years ago, um, I want to use, use my professional kit because it's got some more, more, so much more bits in it. So that's cool, um, I've got me, me um, 10 litre fuel can, which is brilliant. And uh, that's all I've been using, but that, that one leaks. If you fill it up too much, you get a petrol smell in a car on the old van. So I've got my 10 litre one now, so that's even better. Less trips to the old uh, fuel station. I should keep my old one uh, just for old fuel for cleaning, but yeah, super happy. And I've still got my drill bit section, and my drill bit box as well. Uh, I might try and incorporate that so that my Halfers kit fits in with this as well. But this is pretty cool. As I say, 246 um, set, tungsten and twist bits, wood bits, all sorts, yeah, so that, that's cool, that, that'll do, I've lost so many bits and pieces, so um, once again, got a full kit, and what I've been working with is this. <laughs> I've just found my 10 mil as well, my 10 mil extension bar, I've been searching that for about a week. Um, that's how kind I've been working like that. So they'll all be, as, I'm, as I would normally say, they're gonna be thrown. I don't 
try and keep stuff. When I've got a brand new set, I just that's just going to go. So, um, so that's cool. Um, so that's it. Happy birthday to me. Super, super impressed. Super, super happy as always. Thank you very much to everyone, as I say, who has donated to the old um, Teddy Bear's picnic. Just over £600. Cannot believe it. As soon as all that money is in, for some reason, some of it is on hold. I think it's because it's quite a new PayPal account. So um, some of it's on hold for like 15, 20 days or something. I think it must be authenticating the account or whatever it is. Make sure it's not money laundering all that sort of stuff. As soon as the money is available, um, I will then show you guys um, me transferring it all over to the, to the foundation. And someone has messaged me to say um, they donate to charities regularly. Uh, and we'd like to donate towards your charity as well, to, to, to the Smith McGinnis Syndrome Foundation. So I need to get hold of him before I do that in case he donates a, a sensible amount of money over to put in the same pot. So that'd be cool. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mars. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Wish me happy birthday. And I'll check it all on the next one very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take it easy.